All right. Um, I just wanted to, to briefly talk about um, the, the concept, the naming of Manufactured Landscape, where it came from, what it was all about. And that's from a video that um, Edward Bertinsky did um, of the changing, um, kind of the global and world changing environment that, that we're living in today. And he did some stunning um, imagery of Asia, um, Indonesia, all over the world um, of how we're carving out marble um, out of the, out of the um, quarries, how we're polluting um, the environment. And so, you know, Tanis is a major uh, uh, a steward in the environmental control and mining carpet and taking it back and reusing um, our carpet tile. And I wanted, I wanted to tie in the two. Um, so the concept of manufactured landscape um, and the naming came from that, his work, Edward Bertinsky's work. Um, but it allowed us to explore the changing um, floor plane that, that we're dealing with, which is going from a single tile patterned unit to a three tile unit which really opens up the playing field for us in terms of um, how you can view the floor um, in any environment. And, and the, the, the concept uh, of three tiles, and Suzanne, you certainly um, uh, described this very, very well, is this whole idea of opening up the floor plane um, where you're expanding the, the texture uh, and expanding the design and the scale uh, instead of repeating every one tile. And it's really a celebration of modularity. We thought to ourselves, why design a carpet tile the way it's always been designed? And that is that once you, you design the substrate so that it, it, once it's cut up, it looks exactly the way it did before it was cut up. So you try to recreate a, a, a broadloom, if you will, look um, we said let's create a substrate that has variation that has really no repeat across the width and then when we cut it up we have three individual tiles that relate to each other but of course uh, uh, move together and and in in three different ways or three additional ways that add to this perspective 